How's it going everybody? Marco here. So the latest work from home situation or just connecting with our family during this pandemic has most of us using Zoom. So I want to show you how I took my Zoom videos from looking like this to something like this. So I'm going to show you how I stepped up my Zoom game and how you can as well. We're going to start with the easiest changes we can make and then move our way up to the more advanced changes to really get it looking pretty nice. So to start off, the easiest thing we could do is just elevate the camera. So I have a laptop stand here that I'm going to use to elevate the laptop. If you don't have a stand, you could even get a stack of books just to get the camera up higher. So there you can see just by elevating the camera, we have a nicer frame looking directly into the camera. Next, let's take care of this lighting situation. So the main source of light is coming through this window behind me. A lot of people I see backlight themselves with windows they have in their apartment or their bedroom and it doesn't look really good. As you can see, I'm pretty dark here. So there's a couple options we can do. First, I'm going to take some curtains, put them over the windows to diffuse the light that's coming in. So the curtains didn't really take care of that situation. I'm still a little underexposed for that lighting behind me in the window. So what we could do is take a source of lighting, like in this case, this small LED that I have here, or you could use a desk lamp with a daylight balance bulb and add some lighting to ourselves here. So we'll hit that light. And so it lights me up now. Now you can see some of the features that are in my face here and it looks a little better. I'm still not really happy with it, so I'm gonna do the next best thing, which is just changing our background completely and actually using this natural light source behind me. So check this out. Right on, we have a much better looking shot here. We've completely turned the camera around, so we have a nicer background, make sure it's nice and clean. We have those big windows in front of us that act as great natural soft boxes to have a nice even lighting on us. And now we wanna upgrade the sound. You definitely don't want to use your microphone that's on your computer. So the next best thing you could do is use the headphones you already have, plug those right in. All right, we're looking a lot better. It sounds a lot better. And I think this Zoom setup we have here should be good enough for some work meetings or chatting with family and friends. But I want to take it to the next level. So let's upgrade the webcam and connect the Sony A7S we have here to the computer using a USB cable and plugin that you can download. Check the link in the description because if you want to know how to do that, I have a video for that as well. So I'm going to switch this shot here and we're going to then be seeing the shot from the Sony. All right, here's our shot using the Sony as our webcam. It looks a lot nicer. We have a blurred background, some nice depth of field. And it's really cool that you can connect another camera like a DSLR or even a GoPro to set up as a webcam. And then you can move it around as well. So if you have different monitor setups or if you don't want to be looking directly at the screen, you can move the camera to one of the sides to set it up as your camera. Maybe you want to show your computer while you're working. I could take the camera around my, over my shoulder and be using that as the camera as well. So it's a really cool feature that we can do to use a separate camera as our webcam here in Zoom. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a, another microphone like the one I have here, and we're gonna turn on some lights. I'm gonna black out the windows, and I'm gonna bring in a key light so you can see what the shot will look like then. There you have it, the final shot. Those are a few things you can do to step up your Zoom game. We replaced the webcam with a Sony DSLR, gives us some depth of field, a nice looking frame. We added some better lighting by blacking out the windows and bringing in a key light and adding some lights to the background and added a microphone to get some cleaner sounding audio in our Zoom calls. I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure to like and share it. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you next time.